Okay, Frenchie. Today we are tying and talking about the Frenchie. Uh, has to be one of my all-time highest producing flies in my box. Uh, must have. Uh, we're working with... I tie it in 2018 and 16 with a 2 millimeter bead. And then I do a 16 in a 2.4 millimeter bead. That's pretty much my size range um, that, that is the sweet spot for me. Today we're working with a 18 Hannock H130BL dry fly hook. Hard to see there. Extra long needle point. That's what I like about it. Super strong, super sharp. We got a two millimeter copper bead. We are using extra small gold ultra wire. We got UV lavender ice stub and red unithread eight-aught and just brown pheasant tail. All right, let's start, <clears throat> excuse me, secure our thread down. And we're gonna get just four or five fibers at the most of the pheasant tail, line up the tips best we can. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna secure these down with two loose wraps and then one snug wrap so that they don't spin. Actually, I like that length. I like them pretty short. Go back to the back of the body there. Right to the bend of the hook. Back forward. Clip these off so that when I secure them down, the tag ends of the feather tuck back into the back of that bead. <clears throat> Excuse me. Secure our wire in the back of the bead. And I'm going to unwind my, unspool my thread a little bit there. Getting a little wound up. All right, and just oop, just about four or five fibers again <clears throat> for the body here. We're gonna secure the tips of these guys in, and I like to pull them pretty short, right to the end, so that we've got that really wispy tip of the feather making up the abdomen and I'm going to use the rotary function spool it up all right tie this off two nice secure wraps maybe one in front clip off the excess <clears throat> I'm gonna wrap the gold wire. I like to get four in, and then the fifth one being the securing wrap. Helicopter it off. I'm gonna grab eight to 12 tiny little ice dub fibers, not very much at all. Might even be too much. Yeah, we're good. Nice tight noodle. And we want it to be about two to three wraps length on the thread here. So that when I get three wraps, I'm back into the red. Okay. And then we're going to use four or five turn whip finish and build up our thread down behind the bead at the same time until we have just a slightly visible red hot spot. It's the same diameter as our bead, so it doesn't move. And <clears throat> got ourselves a good little Frenchie. 
I think these things are just so effective. I think the tails look really realistic in the water, the way that they clump together. And you can see how fibrous it is. Um, and I believe that that really holds oxygen bubbles in as it moves down the water. And I think that's why it's so effective. Um, anyways, I probably burned through 300 of these last year and you can tie them up in any color variation, any size, any hook. I mean, sky's the limit. And I think you'd find a use for it. I personally use brown, black. Um, I really like black through the winter this winter. Um, and also been kind of playing around with it a little bit and did this pink version and oh that's not even it i grabbed the wrong one i did this pink one and i've been fishing it on the tailwaters this winter with the idea that i'm fishing it as a scud and uh i believe that's what they're taking it as it seems to be effective uh the only thing that i'll do sometimes is kind of rough up the bottom here kind of scud like and it seems to be working. I think they're taking it as a scud. So uh, that being said, just be creative with it. It's pretty versatile fly for how super simple it is. All right. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.